One way to move through your app's development really efficiently is to get comfortable with shortcuts and really finding how you can navigate your editor in as few clicks as possible. One of my favorite shortcuts here in working with the bubble editor is to right click on any reference to a visual element, and this includes pages in general, so that you can quickly get to that element. When you have a large application with many different elements designed on the page or many pages in your editor, this can save you a lot of time. Take a look at this example. I have a submit button on my page that is connected to a workflow to navigate the user to a different page in my application, the index page in this case. Let's say that I want to quickly open up that page. This is especially helpful if my application has dozens of pages, and we've certainly worked with those apps with our own clients. So instead of pulling open the page dropdown list and hunting down that page, all I need to do is right-click this action because the action references the page and click reveal the element. Bubble will immediately take me to that page. Okay, so it's really great to go from a workflow to another page when that page has been referenced. Here's another example. This text element is referencing the button. Okay, the text element is displaying in a dynamic way the button's width, okay, the actual size, the width of, of that element, that visual button. So if I had many buttons on my page and I had this text, you know, not next to it, if it was just living somewhere else and I needed to confirm which button I'm talking about or just in general, open up the property editor of the button, I need to find it. Instead of going into the element dropdown to search for it by name or in my elements tree where I could potentially have dozens and dozens of elements, again, all I need to do is right click on the expression since it's referencing that visual element and click reveal the element. And there, Bubble will pull it up and highlight it for me. We have another example here. This text, click here to show a pop-up. It's a static text. This is also connected to a workflow that is going to show a pop-up that I have on my page. Okay, just to show you here, we've got a pop-up right there. So again, I can right-click this action and reveal the element. Okay, so it's not just the show uh, action. It's not just the go to page. It's not just the um, width expression. The common thread here is that all of these different components, whether they're expressions or workflow actions, they're referencing a visual element. And when you find yourself in that scenario, try right-clicking it uh, to, sorry, it was this one over here. Try right-clicking it to see if you have this option to reveal the element. That way it'll take you right to it. And it does save you a number of clicks. It might not seem like it from these simple examples, but imagine having a large application. This is gonna save you a lot of clicks over time uh, and help you move through the editor much more smoothly compared to having to hunt down those elements manually.